Okay, so it's February here in North Carolina on the coast. So we had the opportunity to get out. It was 77 degrees today, which is very rare for uh, the last week of February, but we took advantage, got out on the beach, did some surf fishing, but no fish love. Anyway, fortunately, Captain Jeff from the Rio Cajun back in the fall took us out and we did some, he did some diving and speared this wonderful hogfish. So we've got this nice big piece of hogfish that we're gonna grill up tonight. So let's see how this turns out. So we filleted it before we froze it uh, back in the fall but I left the skin on. So I don't care to grill my fish with skin on, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Take a good sharp knife and just get it at an angle. Support that skin, keep it held down, and go along the entire length of the filet and separate the skin from the filet. Now you can see, it's such a large piece of meat, my knife's not really big enough. I'm actually leaving some meat on the skin, which I usually don't care to do, but that's all right. We'll get it all, get as much as we can, because I'll be honest with you, this is way more than my family needs. And you see this spot here? I'm not 100% sure about that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. And here, and now we've got this Really nice filet. Now, when I run my fingers along here, I can still feel a little bit of bone. That's the center spine. So I'm gonna take my knife and just cut on either side of that spine. And get those bones out of there. So then you just kind of keep feeling around, make sure you don't feel any bones. That little piece of fish. Cut some of this off. Like a little extra fat. And I love fat on my beef, but not crazy about fat on my fish. So we'll just clean that up a little bit. And now we're ready to prepare our fillets into steaks. Hogfish steaks. Now another quick life hack I'd like to share with you. Uh, this is around, so today is Saturday. My garbage picks up on Thursday. So if I throw this, the skin and the scraps from the fish into the trash can tonight, by Tuesday, you're not gonna wanna be anywhere near this house. So what we'll do is if we take, put it back in the bag, we'll throw it back in the freezer until Thursday night or Wednesday night, then throw it in the garbage right before I take it to the street, not to have that bad smell in the garbage. So the next step is really pretty simple. A little bit of seafood, grill and broil seasoning. It's a combination of quite a few different seasonings. We're gonna put some olive oil. That's it, now be time to heat the grill up and get ready. So from what I'm told, this is a flaky sweet fish. Uh, very similar to uh, grouper, um, but some say it's sweeter than grouper and better than grouper. Well, I really love grouper and I've never tried hogfish before, but we're gonna try it tonight. I'll let you know what my thoughts are. Okay, look at the beautiful color in those spices, the tenderness of that fish. You can already see it's gonna be a good flaky fish. We're gonna go ahead and throw these on the grill. Pour that extra juice right on top. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells so good. So it usually doesn't take too long to cook fish. You gotta be careful, you wanna make sure it's cooked good. So I'm starting to flake it apart a little bit just to see. I see I still still have a little bit of undone fish right there in the middle. So 
We'll let it rest, keep grilling. Okay, so while we let the larger pieces, I did take a small piece. You can see it's uh, cooked perfectly. It's a nice flaky fish. Got a nice crust with the uh, olive oil and the seasoning. Mmm, c'est c'est bon, oui. That's good. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so the fish is done. Taking it in, giving it to my wife. She's gonna put it on a nice bed of spinach, lettuce, and a couple other vegetables. I guess we're making a salad. Anyway, I'm gonna pair it with this Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. It's a good beer. Always like to get a six pack of something, uh, try it out before I buy a keg and add it to my tap list here at the house. So, see how this goes. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so you see the beautiful salad, the wonderful piece of hogfish grilled perfectly. Uh, we're, we're topping it off with a creamy cilantro lime salad dressing. Let's see how this is. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. So we didn't have a great day fishing, but it was a wonderful day on the beach. Wonderful time with family, sunshine, surf, the smell of salt, and now ending the day with this wonderful piece of fish on a bed of salad, perfect. Have a great weekend. Hey, wanted to say thank you one more time to Jeff, Captain Jeff of The Real Cajun for providing that uh, piece of hogfish. Thanks again, Jeff.